photograph of two tracks that possibly represent a static posture of an individual. Proceedings of the Geologists' Association Since the discovery of Australopithecus fossils in South and East Africa 60 years ago, the origin of the human lineage has been located in this continent. To make matters worse, discoveries of more recent fossils in the same region, including the emblematically Toli footprints of Tanzania, of 3.7 million years, showing human feet in vertical locomotion, have consolidated the idea that they're the only origin of the first members of the human lineages in Africa, and they remained isolated there for several million years, before dispersing to Europe and Asia. However, in Greece, specifically in Trachylos, on the island of Crete, human traces have been discovered that could test the history of evolution as we know it. The research, published in the Proceedings of the Geologists' Association by an international team of experts, shows that the tracks are approximately 5.7 million years old and were made at a time when previous works place our ancestors in Africa, with feet more like those of a monkey. The traces of Trachylos they leave no doubt. In fact, they are safely dated using a combination of foraminiferous marine microfossils from underlying layers of the terrain, plus the fact that the footprints themselves are located immediately below a very distinctive sedimentary rock, which formed right in the period in which the Mediterranean Sea dried up briefly, 5.6 million years ago. The key is in the feet the human feet have a very characteristic shape, different from all the other terrestrial animals, they combine a long plant, with five front points pointing forward without claws, and the distinctive presence of a big toe. The feet of our closest relatives, the great apes, look more like a human hand with a kind of thumb sticking out on one side. The footprints of Eli Toli, which belong to Australopithecus, are very similar to those of modern humans, although the heel is narrower and the sole lacks an arch. On the contrary, the Ardipithecus ramandus from Ethiopia, 4.4 million years old, the oldest known hominindo with reasonably complete fossils, has a simian foot. The researchers who described this specimen argued that it is a direct ancestor of later hominids, which implies that a foot similar to the human had not yet evolved at that time. The three best preserved tracks proceedings of the Geologists' Association The new prints have an unmistakably human form The big toe is similar to ours in shape, size, and position, and the sole of the foot is proportionally shorter, but has the same general shape. This indicates, without ambiguity, that they belong to an early hominid, something more primitive than the one that left the traces of Elitoli. Those of Crete were made on a sandy coast, possibly a small river delta, while the previous ones were made in volcanic ash. The prints were discovered by chance in 2002 by Gerard Gierlinski, Polish paleontologist specializing in fossil footprints during a holiday in Crete. But it was not until 2010 when he studied them thoroughly and came to the conclusion that they had been left by a hominino, now, for Albert Left, from the University of Uppsala, has resumed research and has just published his surprising conclusions. What makes this controversial is the age and location of the prints, Professor Peralberg, of the University of Uppsala, an author of the study, said in his statement. If the community of researchers on human origins will accept these fossil footprints as conclusive evidence of the presence of hominids in the Miocene of Crete remains to be seen. At around 5.7 million years old, they are younger than the oldest known fossil hominid, say Helanthropus thedensis, from Chad, and contemporary with Aurora to Genensis, from Kenya, but more than a million years older than Ardipithecus ramidus. This is in conflict with the hypothesis that Ardipithecus is a direct ancestor of later hominids. In addition, until now, all hominid fossils over 1.8 million years old came from Africa which led most researchers to conclude that it was there where the species evolved. During the time Trachylos were traced, a period known as the Late Miocene, the Sahara Desert did not exist, the savanna-like environments extended from North Africa to around the eastern Mediterranean. In addition, Crete had not yet separated from the Greek mainland. The first hominids could have lived through southeastern Europe as in Africa and leave their footprints on a Mediterranean shore that would one day be part of the island of Crete. We know that the remains of the oldest ancestor of man, Homo sapiens, are those of Lucy, an Australopithecus afarensis 3.2 million years old found in 1974 in Ethiopia. 
but from this first quasi-human, do we know how many species have existed, evolved, and related to each other to give rise to the modern human being?